folks, welcome to tonight's game between the Boston College Eagles and the Clemson Tigers. Number four is a player who can handle playing under any pressure situation. He's a star player that we'll keep our eyes on tonight. He shows up to compete every night. When his team needs some offense, he's there to provide it. He can shoot it as well as anyone on his team. The Tigers will no doubt have to find an answer for him. The Tigers should be able to run away with this one, Dick Vitale. Hey, what are the keys for them doing so? The keys are pretty simple, Brad. First, play it your style. Don't get roped into doing things that you normally don't do. You must be in control. Next, set good interior screens to free up your big men on the block. Look to the inside first. And lastly, be strong with the ball. Turnovers can be the story here tonight, so protect that basketball. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Perfectly executed. And the ball goes out of bounds. Got the post flashing if he wants it. Down inside. Turns it over. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Applying pressure. On the outside, the point guard takes the feed. He gets it to fall. Now trying to feed the low block. Trying to draw some contact. Makes it. screen from the top of the key he kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot Brad up and inside trying to feed the low block ball comes back out from the post I tell you Brad you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man up easy one Too many dribbles and a steal. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I think the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block for the bucket. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> they go into the low block. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> now they work it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Goes up for two. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. They're working around the arc. Great anticipation defensively. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. A little frustration right there. They're working around the perimeter. The center with the ball. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. The center takes the pass. Well, Dick, you said it many times before. The crowd is quite capable of being that X factor, and they have been that and so much more.
He wants a three. Great shot. He's getting lost on every move. We got to see more heart on defense. The center gets the ball. There's the trap. Irwin comes up with it. The center gets the pass. He strips him clean. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. We're Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. He pump fakes. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Nice high post screen. Top of the circle. He gets the bucket. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Teams looking to get things going here. He intercepts it. On the dribble, gives it up. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. Accepted. Gave it up. That wide stance and the drop step. I tell you, it's all about angles. And if you utilize that drop step, it's like a reverse pivot move. Picks off the lazy pass. Fake. up the foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? The ball goes out of bounds. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call though by the official. Off the rim and no good. Oh, what a strip, Red. Oh, he's got hops like you, man. He got hops <laughs> like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high riser. <laughs> On the outside. the trigger you betcha this is worth the second look work the perimeter spacing so important they're 15 to 17 feet apart Sucker out of the game, man. For the bucket. Up and in. Look at that spacing. Here's a double team. Coker is pretty fired up and excited. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. Nice 
steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad, before the game, the coaching staff told me they worried this situation could happen. They told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not rely on one player. Right now, the coaches are trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page, guys. Now the turnaround jumper. Can't get the shot to drop. Perfectly executed. Another look. Side. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Penetrates and kick blocks the shot. Fakes it. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Dick, look at this. He's not afraid to let anyone know how he feels. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. He goes to the line for the first time. Good. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stressed during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Close play is essential if you're going to be effective. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. Both teams looking to get things going here. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. And they come with a double team to stop it. Garner, pump fakes. He shoots from the baseline. Way off target. Shoots from outside. Clemson are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Looking for a good shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Shoots it off the rim and no good. He shoots from left of the circle. The Eagles have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Braddy's on fire. They work the perimeter. He tries the three ball. He buries it. Dick, they're doing a great job offensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. I tell you, he didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And the ball goes out of play. Now they work it around the perimeter. The ball 
ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. And the ball goes out of bounds. for a good shot and working around the perimeter 10 seconds on the clock he rips the nets for another score he's absolutely unconscious McKinley in the paint that spin move not successful, Dick. I think a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. Oh, we got to replay that one. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Up for two. In and out. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Down he goes and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. Goes out of bounds. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. The fake. There's a double team waiting there. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. In the paint. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. Unloads a three. Goes. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. The Tigers will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Good job defensively. They just won't get many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Up and inside. He makes the block. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. I think right now, got to focus defensively. From three-point range, way off target. Washington Conley have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Talking apple turnovers either. Nice fake for the bucket. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us.
Steals a pass. He puts up the three ball. Buried it. it up. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Look at that spacing. Tries for two. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. How about a replay, boys? Coming inside. High post screen. So effective, that screen. Back to the outside. He shoots from the top of the circle. He buries the tray. How about an instant replay? Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning. It? I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Opportunity for two for one. They work the perimeter. He strokes it. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. He throws it up from downtown. Sinks it. Wow, can we get slow-mo, please? Great play to take that to the basket. The ball goes out of play. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Trying to beat the buzzer. He puts it in with contact and all. At the end of the first half, the Tigers are up by one. It's been a tight battle so far, Dick. Do you have a highlight of the half in your book? Buzzer beater at the half. Can't be a play bigger than that, Brad. Let's get back down to the action where it looks like the two teams are all set to start the second half. Clemson is shooting very well from the floor right now, Dick. They're getting good looks, man, and they're not letting them go to waste. That's how you win games, man. Offensive execution. Second half, Dick, our focus player update, and what's he got to focus on, or what do his teammates have to focus on? I think his teammates got to set him up somehow. They got to run some sets to get him free for some good shots. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Let's it fly. 
He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going to down with ease, Brad. They'll work it around the arc. Trying to draw the foul. Knox makes the finger roll. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. They're going to move it around the perimeter. He launches a three. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. Can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? This place is rocking and rolling, baby! You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. He nails the bucket. There he is, strips the ball loose. Now the high screen. And the ball goes out of bounds. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. Gave it up. Picks off the pass. In the post. Looking for contact. Easy one. They're working around the perimeter. He does the sweet fake shot. He launches the bomb. He gets that one to fall. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. There's a high screen. These three balls are hitting from everywhere. That's right, Brad. I saw one come from the hot dog stand and not too long ago. <laughs> Working it around the perimeter. He tries the three. He drains it. I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. It's crazy in here, Brad. He's got a nice shot fake. Step out on that screener. Three-point territory. He drains the shot. This is getting ugly. Hey, if you can't check your man, it's up to the coach to recognize that and make an adjustment. Look at that spacing. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. With the fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Tries for two. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Picked out of the air. Pushes it up. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. He attempts the three. It sticks. Good fake. And he'll kick it back outside. He 
beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post run. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Number 32 at the theft. He's open if he wants the shot. He unloads a three. Ain't no stopping him right now from the Arctic. You better believe it, baby. They're making him pay from out there. Looking for a good shot. Too physical. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Post flasher is open. The student body is rocking tonight. They're rocking right now. My goodness. <laughs> Jumped in front to take it away. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Two perfectly executed. He takes it away. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three quarter position trying to get eye, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Clemson is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Takes the pass in the paint. He made great use of the screen to put up an easy score. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Almost lost the basketball. He takes the shot off the baseline. He can't miss. And he's some nice feeling it, Brad. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Foul charge. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He'll try three from the line. He hits the first. This is the second. He gets it to go. He fires from long range. Way off target. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. They're working around the arc. Takes the pass in the paint. Jumps into the defender. Finger roll. Takes away the pass. Goes up for two. And he scores it off the glass. Picks off the pass.
Hard foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. For two, drains the shot. The Eagles are down by eight. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Stolen away. The point guard receives the pass. Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good close position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. Baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick. The atmosphere. I tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call it the six man for no reason. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. Gets it to fall. <laughs> he unloads a three. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice jam. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He intercepts it. and the jump hook is so effective. Gave it up. Steals a pass. Goes up for two. In and out. Intercepted. post player flashing went away from the post and goes the other way he shoots from left of the circle and he makes the three the Eagles are down by 12 it's stolen here they go into the break goes in that's a 7-0 run Side. 
The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block kick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. Well, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. For two. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Side. On the top of the key. Nails a long range bomb. The replay will give us a better look. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Takes the pass in the paint for the bucket. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle. Poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. pass in the paint. He shoots from long range. You betcha. Pass down low. There's a that one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Dumps it in. And he'll kick it back outside. He dials long distance. Way off target. And he scores despite the hack. Side in the paint goes up for two basket falls despite the contact tries for two can't get the shot to drop on the dribble gives it up College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. It's electrifying in here. With the J. Off the mark. He unloads. Brings the shot. up for two. Perfectly executed. Takes away the pass. He shoots from the angle. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Any time now, boys? Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. And he scores it off the glass. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed. Easy basket. Two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Steals the pass. With a deep pass. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. 
My goodness, players these days in their athleticism, basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. They'll work it around the arc. Working it around the perimeter. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Got it! The ending to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. I call these ones knee knockers, Brian. Close games that can easily go down to the final second. Great play to take that to the basket. Time out on the floor. Aaron Andrews, what do you got for us again? Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. Thanks, Aaron. Can we expect a little change in direction here, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. Six points is the difference. Wow, do they need a basket badly, Brad? Momentum will decide it. He shoots from the top of the key. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Looking for a good shot. Shoots from the outside. And he can't hit the shot. The Tigers are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Up and inside. Albert handles the feed. Up and inside. Albert receives the ball. Gave it up. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. with a foul. Foul, and that stops the clock again. And yet another foul. is going to the line. Sinks it. Rims off. This is where you really need a bucket to have a chance. the shot clock. Shot clock is dead. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Clemson wins in this very competitive outing tonight. Well, they may have come in a little overconfident, but they held their composure at the end. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.